a YouTube. <laughs> Hey YouTube, this is going to be a puzzle collection update. I'm always waiting for puzzles to come in the mail, so I can never really make a true update because I'm always adding, but this is at this point. I'm not showing you these in any particular order. Well, actually I am, the order they're on my desk, but other than that, there's no reason why I'm showing you in this order. So here's a 1x1x3 made out of Legos. And I have to go pretty quick on each of these cubes because I don't have that much time. Too little time and way too many puzzles. Here's a one by one by one. Not a puzzle, but it's something every collection should have. Without it, your collection would be lacking greatly in the mysterious wonder of it. Here's a three by three by four cube for you, that's right. And it's really fun. Very nice cube boy. Here's a calendar cube with the wrong date on it. Can't have that. Let me fix that real quick. Calendar cube. Here is a type A DIY. Pretty loose, so I have to be pretty careful so it doesn't pop. Here is a Master Morphix. Gold stickers. White plastic. This is a Rex cube. It's not solved. It turns great. And it's basically a face turning octahedron converted into a cube. Here's a cube for you cubic 3x3x5. Turns great as a 3x3x5 and also is only a 3x3. Three three. Here is a original square one. I put that sticker on there. That's why it's not the right color. I like the color scheme because it's spinach square one color scheme. Here's a mini 3x3x5. Three by three by I'm waiting on the stickers as we speak. Once I sticker it, I'll be probably selling it and making a video of the process of stickering it. Here's a Rubik's World, currently mixed up as two ancient supercontinents, um, Laurasia and Gondwana. If you want to see the video explaining that, look through my videos. A windmill cube with a wall cube mod applied to the middle layer. Turns great, and sometimes these caps um, fly off. There's a floppy cube, genuine floppy cube I may add, and it snaps into place. It's really easy, although it's sad that some people can't solve it. Here's a rhombic dodecahedron. It, this is amazing quality. I'm not exactly sure who made it, but I'm pretty sure it's the same quality as Mefferts without the Mefferts label on it. Nice, nice, nice looking feel. You put the pieces where they go very easily. Here's a Star Minx. This one turns on its corners, so this is a dino dodecahedron. Very fun to solve. I've actually, I'm, I'm actually practicing this one a lot because I like it so much after I put some silicone in it and it turns a lot better than it did. 